Dad, I want to do some things. Go for it. <laughs> I need a grown up to help me. I'll help you. Episode one for Dice Cannon. Hello, students and families. Mr. Barry here coming to you from my home garage. I wanted to take this opportunity to make some science videos that students and families alike can use to do science at home. All of these experiments uh, use household items and hopefully you'll be able to find the materials you need around the house. I do want to stress that all of these experiments are meant to be done with an, a supervising adult. Uh, their videos are not made just for the kids to follow along and experiment on their own. There certainly is room for exploration once the uh, initial experiment is done. That being said, I really hope you enjoy the videos and I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, you can comment, you can email me, you can get in touch with your teachers and they will let me know how things are going. So I hope to hear from you all soon. Have fun. All right, so here are the materials you'll need to make a vortex cannon, a box, um, a pencil or pen, something round that you can trace, and some tape. I've got packaging tape here. And then also something to cut cardboard with, like a box cutter. Uh, an X-Acto knife will work well, or anything that can cleanly cut cardboard. And so the first step here is to tape up the box. Uh, you really do want to seal it up and make it as airtight as possible. Uh, you don't have to use packaging tape, but uh, it does work very well on cardboard. You can use duct tape, uh, masking tape, gaffer's tape if you have it. The next step is going to be to draw a circle on one end of the box. Try to get it right in the center as best you can. It does not have to be perfect. And then you're going to go ahead and very carefully cut it out. I uh, found that with cardboard, just a lot of really short cuts like this will leave you with a really nice, clean circle. And once you get that out, carefully pop it out. And you are pretty much done with your construction of the Vortex Cannon. Now for testing, you want to set up some objects some distance away. In this case, I was limited by the size of the garage. I did it at about 10 feet, as you can see there. And basically what happens is you, you squeeze the sides of the box or you hit the sides of the box. The air inside has nowhere else to go but out the circle in the front. And this is going to shoot out an invisible ring of air. And what I did here is hung some fabric to show you, you know, if you're playing with your kids and you want to be able to see where you're missing, a uh, bed sheet could work perfectly fine for this. And, you know, it just gives you an idea of where the air is going a little better than uh, otherwise. Uh, you can play games with it. It's kind of like uh, an air bowling game. And uh, you can do different types of targets, things that don't make loud noises when they fall, like paper cups. And if you really want to take it to the next level, you can get a fog machine and you'll be able to see the vortex rings as they come out, which is really fun and pretty fascinating, really. Uh, another really cool thing about the vortex cannon is that it can be scaled up to pretty much any size or even down in size. Uh, you can use trash cans. I've seen them made before with plastic pretzel containers. Um, so it's either small or big, and uh, it's a really a pretty fun science toy. I hope you all enjoy your Vortex Cannon. I want to say a special thank you to my family for helping me make this video. Please let me know how it goes.